So let's have our objectives for this morning. So first, we are going to talk about the measurement process. So uh, you are going to describe the measurement process or the conduct of the measurement process. Second, we are going to talk about metric system and you are going to uh, convert units in metric system. So for this morning, we will just talk about the metric system. And then third, we are going to talk about scientific notation. So you are going to convert from decimal number to scientific notation or from scientific notation to decimal number, okay? And then lastly, our last topic for this morning will be about significant figures. And you are going to determine the number of significant figures in a measured value. And you are going to understand what is the difference between 3 meters, between 3.0 meters, between 3.00 meters, or 3.00000 meters? What is the difference among those measurements? Uh, maybe uh, it will imply that they have the same value, 3. However, in measurement, there is an implication uh, with the number of significant figures. Okay, so we are going to discuss that uh, later in this discussion. So first, let us try to describe or to define measurement. What is a measurement? So it, measurement, technically speaking, it is assigning numer numeral values or numerical values to describe an object's property. So in physics, when we measure, that is actually a description of an object's property. We describe the property of an object. What are those properties? You are very much familiar with those properties. Uh, physical properties or chemical properties. And when we measure, we describe those properties. For example, uh, mass. Pro mass is a property or a quantity. I can use property and quantity, quantity interchangeably. Huh? So, for example, mass, that is a property, okay? And we are going to describe the mass of an object. So, how are we going to describe the mass of an object? We could say very massive, like elephant, very massive. Or how are we going to describe the mass of an ant, for example? We can say less massive, for example. That is a description, okay? But that is not how measurement works. Another example, uh, how about describing the, the distance from your home to school, for example. How are you going to describe the distance from your home to school? For example, you would say very far, for example, very far. Or you would say uh, near. That is a description. That, that is how we describe things. However, that is not how physics describe or how science describe things, okay? So for example, instead of saying uh, that the elephant is very massive, we say the mass of an elephant is 2,500 kilograms, okay? So 2,500 kilograms is a description of the mass of an elephant, okay? So I, I hope you get the point. The mass of, uh, of an ant, for example, is 2 milligrams. So that is how we describe things, okay? Now, how about the distance? For example, how are we going to describe the distance? Instead of saying uh, very far or very near, we could say uh, the distance from, our, from school to our home is, for example, 25 kilometers, okay? So that's a description for uh, 10 kilometers, okay? To be described by assigning numbers. For example, we are going to measure the height of a person. We are going to describe the height of a person. So we could say um, he or she is tall, okay? Or he or she is short. That is a description. However, that is not how physics describe things. We describe things by assigning numbers. So we assign number. What is the height of that person? For example, six. Okay, what is the height of the person? Ah, six. If you notice, the number six has no meaning. Okay, wala siyang meaning, walang kabuluhan. 
Okay? Wala siyang sense. Bakit? Ano yung six na yan? Six pencils? Six uh, pointers? Six roses? Six crushes? Or six X's? Hindi pwede na lalagyan lang natin ng, ng number na six because that would be meaningless. In fact, that would make sense if ever we will put a point of reference. Okay? Kung saan natin siya kinumpara. For example, six feet. So it would make sense. Bakit? Kasi alam natin that the height of the person is being compared to a foot. So meron siyang uh, reference. Meron siyang point of comparison. So that means, in measurement, we have two important things to consider. First, the number. And second, we have the point of comparison. This is our point of comparison. So we know that the height of the person is being compared to a foot. That means it would make sense. That point of comparison, this one, this point of comparison is referred to as unit. Ang tawag sa point of comparison natin, unit. Okay, so basically, unit, uh, units are just point of comparison, point of reference. Is unit absolute? No, hindi yan absolute. It is only standard dice na pagkasunduan. Okay? Na pagkasunduan lang yan. In fact, we can just agree, for example, during this time, we can just agree on what is our standard. Okay? For example, I would say na our we will use this um, pointer to be our standard. So this could be our unit. This could be our point of comparison. This will be our standard. Or, pwede tayo magkasundo. For example, uh, we will use our body parts in measuring as our standard. Okay? For example, pwede natin gamitin ang foot natin as our standard. Okay? What is the distance? So we can use our foot. So maghakbang ka, hakbang. Ilang hakbang ba yan? So that could be our standard. Or we could use our dupa. Dupa man sa bisaya or dipa. What is the width of your room? So for example, magkasundo tayo, tatanungin kita, what is the width of your room? So, limong dupahon. Lima ka dupa, sir. Okay? So that is our standard. That is our point of reference. That is our unit. Okay? Or this one. This one. This could be our standard. Or, we could use our, our um, finger as our standard, our unit, our point of comparison. Or hand, we could use that. Or, uh, pagkabata na to, we could use this one, the span, or in Bisaya, this is known as, ilagay, so yung tawag ganito, dangaw, dangaw man yun, pila ka dangaw, di ba? Dati, yung mga nananaw, dangaw. That is our point of comparison. So it could be our standard. Or, uh, an inch, it could be used as our standard. So basically, units are not absolute. Okay? Napagkasunduan lang. Napagkasunduan lang yan. So, that is uh, unit. A standard for comparison. For example, tinanong ka, gaano ba ka, uh, baha dito sa amin? Gaano ba kalalim? Mayroon ka tagatuhod. It, that's a point of comparison. However, if we are going to use our uh, body parts as our standard, then there could be a problem. Kasi iba-iba tayo ng uh, length of our body parts. Tama? For example, tinanong ka, may naibaha sa, Man sa Manila, reporter, may baha ngayon dito sa Manila, umabot ng tuhod ang baha. For example, e kaninong tuhod yan, kung tuhod ko yan, napakababaw niyan. <laughs> Pero kung tuhod yan ni Yao Ming, napakalalim niyan. Okay? So there will be inconsistency. Why? Because we will be having different or less of our body par parts. We follow? So for, for example, dupa. Uh, the width of our room is lima ka dupa, for example. E kaninong dupa yan? Kaninong span yan? Span ng bata? So there will be inconsistency. It will not be true to different persons. That is why 
uh, we are going to uh, to make a system, another system aside the body parts, so that what is true to me will be true to you, and what is true to you will be true kung pupunta ka sa Japan, and what is true in Japan will be true kung pupunta ka sa Singapore. That there will be the same standard, there will be the same interpretation. Okay, so that is why we have uh, systems, systems of standards used. We have two systems. We have the metric system and we have the English system. We will talk about metric system uh, this morning. English system will be next meeting. And based on that metric system, scientists created standards, okay, units. The, science, the scientific community created standards. Anong tawag natin doon? SI units. The standards used by the scientific community. So that is why when we measure length, we are not comparing it to our uh, span or to our uh, dangaw. We are not comparing like that. We will compare that to a meter. Okay? We will compare that to a meter. Or when we measure mass, we will compare that to a kilogram. Okay? When we measure time, we are going to compare that to a second. When we measure temperature, we are going to compare that to a Kelvin, and so on and so forth. So basically, these are all standards for comparison. Sir, is that absolute? Again, no. Bakit? Napagkasunduan lang yan. Napagkasunduan lang yan. Nang kanino? Nang scientific community. I hope that makes sense. So that when you say one meter, alam natin na one meter is approximately ganito. Kahit sino ka pa, kahit saan ka pa. Because that is, uh, that is exact. Okay? That is consistent. Now, these seven quantities are known as fundamental quantities. They are basic. And we can combine these quantities to derive another quantity. For example, when we combine meter when we combine meter and another meter, that is square meter. Square meter is a unit of area. So we obtain another quantity, which is area. Saan galing ang area? From the fundamental quantity, which is length. Okay? So we can combine the fundamental quantity to derive another quantity. Now, what if we will combine meter and meter and another meter? Cubic meter. So, magiging cubic meter. And what is cubic meter? That is another quantity. Tama? So, cubic meter. What is cubic meter? That is a quantity of volume. So, we now have another quantity, which is volume. Or... What if we are going to combine meter and second? If we combine meter divided by second, so magiging meter per second. And I'm sure you are familiar of that, meter per second. And that is another quantity, which is speed. So we can use, we can combine fundamental quantities to derive another quantity of nature. Now, what if... Uh, we will combine kilograms and cubic meter. Then we can attain another quantity, kilogram per, uh, per cubic meter. That means that is another quantity. That is density. Okay? So any quantity or all quantities na wala sa fundamental quantities, they are known as derived quantity. Kung wala dito, ang tawag sa kanila, derived quantity. For example, a meter per second squared. 
Okay? Wala siya dito sa fundamental. So that means meter per second squared is a drag unit ang meter per second squared. Okay? How about Newton? Ang Newton, wala dito si Newton. So that Newton is a derived unit. Another one. How about momentum? O wala dito si momentum. So that means momentum is a derived quantity. Energy or work. Wala dito si work. Work is a derived quantity. Kinetic energy, potential energy. As long as wala siya dito sa fundamental quantities, they are known as derived quantity. Now, as I told you, the SI units or the standards used by scientific community is based on the metric system. 